that deadly attack in Toronto, where a man drove his van onto a busy sidewalk in the middle of the day. Here's what we know right now. At least 10 people are dead, 15 injured. The 25-year-old driver is in custody after a standoff with police during which he begged to be shot. ABC's Tom Yamas is on the scene in Toronto with the latest. Good morning, Tom. George, good morning to you. This is Young Street just behind me where this all happened. It remains closed at this hour. Canada's police call this one of the busiest streets in the entire country. And yesterday, a man in a rental van turned it into a killing field. This attack has shaken Canada to its core. And what may be most chilling, police still aren't exactly sure why this 25-year-old man went on his rampage. Chaos on the streets of Toronto. A rental van turned into a murder weapon. This new surveillance video shows it barreling down the sidewalk. I just saw the guy go flying and I heard the bang. And the van just went right into him, plowed right into him. The van plowing through pedestrians on a busy street during lunchtime, killing at least 10, injuring 15 others, some now fighting for their lives. So you're at a Starbucks, you look outside yeah. and you see people getting mowed down? Yeah. I saw four people uh, die right in front of me. They were wanting to go across the street to the mall and their life just ended right there. Eyewitnesses describing the panic as the van swerved across multiple lanes of traffic and up on the sidewalks, hitting people across 16 blocks. It's really bad out there. I couldn't believe what I seen, man. It was like, oh man, everybody, all these people on the streets getting hit one by one. This is one of the largest crime scenes I've ever seen, and that's because the path of carnage was more than a mile long. It's as far as the eye can see in both directions. The driver zooming down this street, jumping onto the sidewalk, mowing down anyone in his way. Officers finally stopping the van, leading to the standoff in this video. The driver pulling an object from his pocket, repeatedly pointing it at an officer. The driver telling the officer to kill him. But the man was not armed, and the officer never fired on him, taking him down and handcuffing him. Police identifying the driver as 25-year-old Alec Manassian. A motive still unclear, but police were seen entering his home. Neighbors tell ABC News Manassian was quiet and are in shock at what he's accused of. This is our first great tragedy of this kind in the Toronto area. And uh, Toronto will never be the same again. Toronto, now a city in mourning. A makeshift memorial growing along the site of the attack. And overnight, a moment of silence at the Toronto Maple Leafs game. Fans fighting back tears as O Canada filled the arena. And that game was exactly what so many here needed, a welcome distraction from all that death and destruction. Manassian is expected in court later today, and Canada's Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, is expected to address the nation later today, George. Yeah, and, and Tom, listening to those eyewitnesses when I was wired up for the special report yesterday, not only the horror you get with scenes like this, but real shock that it was happening in their town. George, that's right. I've covered a lot of these mass killings, unfortunately, and I've never seen a place that is more in shock than Toronto right now. Everywhere we go, people stop us to tell us this kind of stuff just doesn't happen in Canada. As mass killings and vehicle attacks have grown across the U.S. and parts of Europe, people in Canada say this kind of stuff just doesn't happen here. Some even telling us Canada lost some of its innocence yesterday. Yeah, the presence George. of that police officer amazing as well. Okay, Tom, thanks very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.